Hey guys, Giants beat reporter Zach Rosenblatt here from NJ Advance Media, and this is your latest update powered by the Talk to Sheep podcast. Giants training camp kicked off at Quest Diagnostic Center in East Rutherford on Wednesday, and it was an interesting first day to say the least. The craziest thing that happened involved something many had never seen in a training camp before, a player that was essentially cut on the field during practice. Here's what happened. Tight end Calvin Benjamin who had signed with the Giants earlier this offseason in hope of reviving a once-promising career, was pulled off to the side and was talking with Joe Judge for a while as the team stretched for practice. General Manager Dave Gettleman eventually came over and things appeared to get heated. Then Benjamin ripped off his helmet and walked off the field with Gettleman chasing after him. Benjamin was officially cut from the team a few hours later. The Giants were also without a lot of their notable players, and running back Saquon Barkley was at the top of that list. The star player is on the physically unable to perform list as he recovers from knee surgery and isn't expected to practice for a while, but he was on the field and in a sweatshirt and was running around a bit with some of the other injured players. Linebacker Blake Martinez was placed on the COVID-19 list on Tuesday and didn't practice, and since the Giants were also without linebacker Reggie Rack, who is injured, they are light on depth at middle linebacker. That leaves three second-year players, including Tay Crowder, Carter Coughlin, and T.J. Brunson, as the only, only notable options at inside linebacker. That might be why the Giants hosted veteran linebacker Todd Davis for a visit on Tuesday. The former Vikings and Broncos linebacker would add some depth to a position that clearly needs it right now. Cutting Benjamin opened up a roster spot. In the first practice, quarterback Daniel Jones struggled a bit as the Giants mostly focused on red zone drills frequently missing his targets, including Kenny Galladay, and at one point hitting the back of defensive back Logan Ryan on a pass in the corner of the end zone intended for Sterling Shepard. It's only day one, though, so no need to panic just yet. And also, Daniel Jones hung out after practice and got some extra throws in with Kenny Galladay, who is expected to be his number one option after signing as a free agent. For all the latest Giants news, turn to the sports section of NJ.com and download the Talk is Cheap podcast wherever podcasts are available. ACAST powers the world's best podcasts. Here's a show that we recommend. Hey, this is Jane Huger, host of the Young Turks, part of TYT's podcast network. We're the world's most popular progressive news show online. Not a big deal, I'm just saying. And we deliver an uncensored, unapologetic version of the news you won't get anywhere else. And that's really true. You should definitely check it out. So listen to the Young Turks on the Acast app or wherever you get your podcasts. Acast recommends.